Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'll be opening and assembling build number two of the Lego Creator Set 31124, which is the Super Robot. That's the first build. And in this one, I'll be building the Dragon, which is that one there. I'll get straight on because I've, as you can see, I've already separated the bricks for it. This is the instruction manual for the Dragon. So we start off with a grey 6x2 six by, six by base plate, a black upside down roofing brick, and a black 3x1 three by, three by right angle piece, like so. Then we put the um, the other black three by one right angled piece on. Then we put two of the um, green um, one by one square stud with a with a connector piece on it and a light blue two by one flat studded, like so. Then we have one of the um, two by one with the um, poles on it, or as, a, as I used them as lasers back in the um, day to space Lego, and the black upside down two by two roofing piece, two of the green three by two flat studded pieces, like so. I think this is going to be the body. Next we have two of the grey 2x1 with a female ball joint on the long side and a 2x2 two two flat studded yellow. Then two of the, no we've got four of the 2x1 uh, green Green with the um, book with the male ball joint on the longer side. I'll show you this before we go any further, like so. Then you've got a black four by two flat studded and two of the black curved roofing pieces. Then we've got two of the black two by one with the um, male connector, pole connector piece. Try and find the other one, it should be in it somewhere. There we go. And we've got these two, these yellow pieces go on here. Get attached like that. Those pieces attach on there like that, so you've got move, some movement there. Now we've got four of the grey double cheese pieces to go on top. There we go, that's what we got so far. That appears to be the main part of the body, I'm assuming, but I 
think we might be making the tail on this part, but I'm um, just having a guess. So we start off with a yellow 1x4, flat studded, a, with a green one piece with a, a, a hook, a female hook on the back, a yellow uh, clear stud, and a green two by two with a male ball joint on the thinner end. Another yellow four by one flat studded goes on top. And a yellow two by two by one flat with a stud in the middle goes on there like that. Then we've got the light blue two by two with the um, with the male connector connector pieces on the on each end. So that's it has an as a yellow two by one with a, a connector stud in the middle and a green one by one by one with a connector hook on it. That goes on there like that. I think that might be the tail. Like so. Does look quite good. Put that there for the time being. Over there for the time being. I think they're making the head now. So we start off with a black two by two by four flat, a grey two by two by two flat studded, a light blue two by one flat studded, and a green two by one flat studded with a male ball joint on the on the longer side. I have two of the black two by one right angle pieces. Then one of the uh, laser piece, uh, gray laser pieces go on. And then two of the gray two by, two by one curved pieces go on. Like so. A yellow two two by two flat studded, a also a yellow two by two right angle piece. You got two of those. A grey two by two flat studded, like so. I'll show you that before we go any further. A black double cheese piece, a black a black two by two curved roofing piece, a light blue two by two cheese piece. Be a bit careful with that. Um, and, and two of the clear yellow cheese pieces for eyes. Like so. There we have our dragon so far. we got for our dragon it does look quite good already now we've got to make the first looks like the first leg 
So this might be a, yeah, this is a, this is gonna be a left hand, right hand job. So start off with a black two by, two by four flat studded, a light green, a light green two, two by three flat studded, a light blue two by one flat studded, and a green two by two flat studded with a ball joint on the thin end, like so. That's the front and that's the back. A black two by four flat studded, a grey two by two with a female ball joint on the longer side. Um, a black two, a, a black two by one double or black double cheese piece, two of those. I think that's the first part of the leg there. Now we make the, what looks like the foot. So that starts off as a yellow two by two, flat studded. A green two by two by one with a groove piece on it. And a gray two by two with a female ball joint on the thin side. Have one of these big roofing pieces goes on there with two of the yellow pizza course uh, quarter pizza pieces go on there they go on like that Like so, they go like that. And that leg there goes on here. Now we do the other leg. So that starts off as a, as the black four by two, flat studded, the green three by two, two flat studded, the light blue two by two flat studded and the green two by two with a male ball joint on the thin side, like so. The black two by four and the gray two by two with the female ball joint on the longer side like that, the black, two of the black double cheese pieces. That's the upper leg and we do the lower leg now, starts off with a, a yellow two by two flat studded, a two by two with a female ball joint on the on the thin side, a green two by two with a groove, a groove connector on it, a the black roofing piece, and the two yellow quarter piece, quarter pizza pieces. Attach that leg onto here. Those legs have gone on there now like that. Does look quite good. Very um, transforming robot-esque.
Probar. There we go. There we it kind of stands up at the moment. I think it's, it takes. I think it's going to take a bit of fiddling to get it to stand up properly. So, yeah, it does stand up a little bit. So now we got to do what looks like the the wing. I think this is going to be a another left and right job. So start off with a grey. Grey six by six by two flat studies, a black um, angled piece like that, a yellow stud, a grey two by two with a female ball joint on the thin end, another black um, wing uh, angled wing piece. Then we flip this over, have a green 3x2 flat studded piece, goes on like that, that's what we've got so far. We flip it over again and we put a blue 2x2 two two curved roofing piece on and a blue two by two with a flat angled piece on it. A yellow six by six by one. Flat piece and a black double cheese piece. Then we flip it over. A grey two two by two flat studded going on the back, and that is one of the wings. See how that affects the balance of it. So we've got our dragon so far. I'm still preferring the robot at the moment, I think, for stability and other, and other reasons, so. Try and get this thing to stand up again. You bear with me. I think this dragon is going to have some stability issues, I think. I think just, just one or two. So we start again. So we've got the um, grey six by, the grey six by two and this, the black angled pieces goes on there, the yellow stud the grey 2x2 two two with the female ball joint connector on the thin side, like so. Same but different. The black um, wing piece, flip it over. The grey 3x2, flip it back over. The yellow 6x1 flat. The light blue um, angled piece and the light blue 2x2 two two roof curved roofing piece and the black double cheese piece. Goes on like that. And oh, there's the Then there's the bit that goes the grey two by two that goes on the two by two flat that goes on the back. Put the wings on this dragon here.
And that is our dragon. Got lots of spare pieces from the dragon, which is quite nice. So I'll be able to do a very interesting um, end of um, build set, I think. So it's got lots of movement, but I'm not quite sure about the stability of it, which is a bit of a shame. I think it has potential. It's quite good, as you can see. So if we get to stand up in a It does look like one of these Japanese um, anime, Jap Japanese monster things. So you've got lots of spare parts you could customise it with as well. Getting it to stand up though is a bit of an ordeal. So play value, that could affect play value a little bit, but I think, oh, I think it might have the feet on them. Might have the feet on the wrong way around. Might have something to do with it. I might try moving the feet around a little bit. I'm kind of hoping that's it really, because if that is it, I don't mind. No, I've got the feet on the right way around, it just doesn't seem to like standing up, so. It's not big on standing up by itself and Yeah, it's, it's nice, but it's not the best build of the set because it doesn't really, you couldn't really do a terrifying dragon scene with it because it wouldn't, it would need some work on the stability, it definitely needs some work on the stability front, so. Be nice if you, if you get it just to stand up in a action pose, but. There we go, get to stand in a action pose here. It's not bad, it's got potential, but it's um it does have it does have standing issues, so overall though, I'm quite happy with it. It's it's got play value. If you brought another set, you could have it fighting against the robot, which which would be quite good because the dragon would fall down quite easily. So it does have potential. Um, I'm quite happy with it and hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have, do feel free to like, share and subscribe. If there are any, any, any other comments or feedback regarding this video, do feel free to add them at the end of the video and I'll try to give you a mention of my upcoming videos. I'd like to give a um, young lad Phil a, um, a shout out uh, for, for commenting on, on, my, on, on one of my videos this week and I so say, have enjoyed this video. Do feel free to follow me. I am on YouTube and Instagram, um, Lego Man Stew. So stay safe, keep building, and hope to see you in my coming videos. Thank you for watching.